fluid inside the uterus uh, can be an incidental finding sometimes that we find during regular ultrasound scans in ladies having fertility treatments. Uh, fluid inside the uterus might impede or might prevent embryos from implanting because embryos are those microscopic organisms that might that need that they want a very clear and beautiful lining for them to implant where does the fluid come from uh, sometimes i have to say it might be very challenging and we don't find a reason most of the time we do find a reason though the fluid can be coming from a problem inside the tube where the tubes have fluid inside them, like hydrosalpinges, and that fluid keep on seeping back inside the uterus, and that's why we are seeing fluid all the time inside the lining. Other causes might be an infection inside the lining, causing that lining to produce that fluid, preventing the, fl the lining from absorbing the fluid back again. A third cause might be Sometimes we see, mainly in ladies who have done a cesarean section, I repeat, not in every lady, it, rare, it is rarely seen, that after a cesarean section, sometimes fluid might be accumulating in the cesarean section scar, and that fluid might end up seeping back inside the uterus, and this is what we see inside the lining. Sometimes we don't know the reason why, unfortunately. There are different ways that we can try medically to try to remove or get rid of this fluid. Sometimes giving progesterone might help the lining to absorb the fluid. Sometimes if the problem it depends on the cause, sometimes if there's fluid in the tube, then we have to either take the tubes out or clip the tubes. Sometimes if there's a cesarean scar defect, we advise ladies very rarely to have a repair for the cesarean section scar. Sometimes we do a hysteroscopy and simply by dilating the cervix, we are allowing the fluid to seep out, improving the outcome. So there are different ways depending on the reason why the fluid is accumulating. Uh, based on the reason, the treatment will be tailored. Uh, most of the time we achieve a good success. Very rarely we might fail to know the reason and you might fail to allow the fluid to, to, to resolve. Those will be very challenging medical cases uh, that we need to deal with every now and then. But most of the time we are able to help.